Hey there everyone, Paradise Gamer 13 here, uh, resuming my let's play of the Pokemon trading card game in what will I assume be the finale of this series, as I will be taking on my rival Ronald for, and I hit the wrong button again, um, for the, uh, to decide who inherits the legendary Pokemon cards, so, yeah. I was here first, legendary cards belong to me, yeah. This will be interesting. Uh, one match duel with... Why is it always a one match duel? I wonder if there's ever like any like two match duels or three match duels or something. I mean that would take a while, but still. Alrighty. Let's see if I get as lucky as I did last game. That was pretty awesome. Um, kind of wish they would have given me the a uh, oh Snorlax and Dratini like yeah. Um, do I start off with Snorlax? Because I don't have enough energies, obviously, but... I think I only have one Dratini. Maybe I have two. I don't know. I'll start off with Snorlax. What can it hurt? And that's it. So, please pray that place to six prizes, like always, coin toss. And I go second again. But I went second last game, I think. And that didn't seem to hurt me too much, so. Wait. Excuse me, but he already gets to use the cards, but I don't. Because that's definitely fair. Um. Yeah. I. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. Mm hmm. Alright. Well. Uh, what a shocker there. And of course, this deck just seems to be like all over the place, which I feel like would be a bad thing for him because it's like well, EV. Okay, well, two EVs, maybe not quite all over the place. Okay, so far it's actually three normal types and a fire type, so maybe I was incorrect in judging that so quickly. But um, yeah, let's see here. Use Bill. I drew another bill with my bill. I drew a double Carlos, which is exactly what I wanted. Um, that's perfect. And I will use another bill here. Persian and Taurus. Okay. So, I can't actually do anything right now. Well, that's not a problem, because... It, it's Snorlax, and you saw what he did in... in uh, not the last video, video before that. Um, that was phenomenal. Snorlax is just way too overpowered, uh, in my opinion, but, well, not as much as having all the legendary cards before you're really supposed to, but, you know, I can live with that. Um, do I computer search for a double colorless? Or do I just energy search for another energy and attach this energy? I mean, you know, it's like, I don't know. I'm going to actually just... Uh, yeah, I'm just going to attach this energy and wait in our turn. Um, which isn't that big of a deal. So it's like... Yeah. And I would have drawn an energy in two turns anyways, but I don't really care. So, yeah. Let's see what he does. Fire energy to Eevee. Uh, pound. Okay. He didn't attach to the Moltres. Kind of in a way surprised me, but it's like, oh well. Um, yeah, he didn't have any on Moltres, so not a big deal at all. Too bad I don't have a plus power here. That'd be cool. Um, oh wait, I need to attach my energy first. Almost forgot about that. Uh, maybe I'll get lucky here and paralyze him. That'd be cool. And I don't. But it's like, yeah. Um, because I don't think he can really do anything else to me at the moment. Unless he gets, like, a Flareon, or he evolves to Stratini. Yes, that could... Oh, or that! God! You. Uh... <laughs> oh, okay. So, I didn't draw a double colorless, unfortunately. But... I can recycle, hopefully. 
of all the damn <laughs> um well ah uh, what's small X's retreat cost four of course um of course uh like yeah Who do I have on the bench? Kini and Taras. Um... I'm gonna wait... I'm gonna wait in our turn. Another Moltres! Yeah! Okay. How many is he gonna get this time? Oh, just one. I don't get why he didn't put that in his deck the last time, but whatever. I mean, he put that into his hand the last time, but whatever. Double colorless. Well, that's fair. I could have used that a while ago, and then I would not have... Well, I still would have been in this situation, but... Nonetheless. Um... What else do we even have? There's the Eevee, which can do... Ridiculous, he has two of them. Um, I better get at least two of every legendary card then, if that's the case. So, let's see what we actually have here. Um... This is killing me. You don't know how much it kills me to do that. Um... No, the Double Carlos was actually quite a few turns away. But, you know... That's pretty much all I can do at this point. And then Body Slam him. Yes. Now he gets paralyzed. Of course! Hey, I get a defender, though. And obviously, it goes an Eevee, which I kind of figured. Um, yeah. That's... Okay, well, you got Tails, though. So that only does 10 to me. Which means I can at least live one more hit. Nice. Oh, and I get a Super Potion. So I, I need an energy in order to do that. And that's kind of shaky. So... Let's go ahead and body slam here. No paralysis! Of course. Maybe I'll get lucky and I'll get Tails again, though. Although I don't think I'll really... Oh yeah, I will. Um... Yes! Success. That makes me a very happy person, to say the least. And I will use a defender. Watch me get paralysis this time. Oh no, wow. Seems like every time I usually do. Whenever I, whenever it doesn't matter, but oh well. Um, hey, an energy search. Okay. And... I started off so strong with Snorlax, but then I just got so crippled by the fact that I, you know, I guess that's one of the main problems, unless you have a lot of energy built up, you know, to, you know, in case of the energy removals. Um, that could be a problem, but it's, I don't know, it wasn't that big of a deal, I guess. Okay, so you got Tails anyways, but that's gonna do no damage to me, which is fine. Um... Hey, and I get another energy! Awesome! So I will attach that to Snorlax. Possibly against my better judgment. But at least now I can use a Super Potion. Do 
that. And... I'm kind of tempted to use a gust of one here. Bring in that Moltres. Not that Moltres. Uh, definitely this one. Uh, I don't know. Eh, maybe not. I'll just go and attack. Yes, I finally got the paralysis. I was baking so much on that. I know it didn't seem like that big of a deal, but my plan, my mode of thinking was, okay, paralysis, no damage on me. I can take this guy out on the next turn, hopefully, unless barring a potion or defender or whatever, which he probably has, which he actually does not seem to have. Um, wow, okay. Uh, he'll probably put in Moltres next, I'm guessing. Unless he puts in the, uh, the Eevee again, which might also happen. Um, I'm going to use the first. Oh good, they're all energies. That's actually really beneficial. Um, I'll do that. That, 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 that. Yes. Um, and then I can use Gust of Wind to blow that next Moltres out of the way and bring in his other Moltres, or maybe even the other AD or whoever I want to bring in, really, um, and take it out. So, yeah. Wait, let me actually check and make sure that Moltres... Okay, so he still needs... No, he has enough. Uh, ooh, okay. Uh, how much HP do I have? So I have 90. I have... So okay. So what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to use another defender. And... And just in case he gets the dive bomb off. But, I mean, he could get tails, which is a possibility, but... We'll see how it goes. And of course I get heads again here, but... Irrelevant. So... Eevee gets knocked out, I draw another prize, I'm now back into the swing of things, I'm back in control, I guess I should say. Um, never that, not that I was like ever like really out of control. What? <laughs> what? Jolteon? He only scoops up Moltres for some reason. I guess he didn't want me gust of winding it into the, uh, into that other Moltres and beating it up. But, uh, that's kind of funny. Um... Where does it keep getting all these fire energies from? Is he only allowed to draw like two at a time or something? I don't really get it. Ooh, that defender saved me! <laughs> that could have been a close call. Yeah. Um, that was actually a good play on my part, I feel like. Um, surprisingly. So I will go ahead and use Bill here. Get my next couple of energies, uh, and start putting them on Taurus, and uh, so that can damage me, I'm gonna bring in Moltres, wait, does he have the biggest no, Kangaskhan has the biggest retreat cost. Okay, so I'm gonna bring in Kangaskhan. And... Kangaskhan. Of course, Fire Giver could be a bit of a problem, but... I still... I'm, I'm gonna look at to see how that works. Okay, 1 to 4. Chosen at random? How does... Okay, I don't understand how that works, but... Okay. Um, I'm just... I'll just go with it, I guess. Um, so this will be a solid three-turn KO, barring some weird shenanigans by him, but hopefully it shouldn't be too big of a problem. Not like this King is Kong can do much until it gets four energies on it anyways. Or three now. Oh, of course he can fetch, which I was kind of hoping he wouldn't be able to do that, but... Oh, I guess I should have known better, because he does... He can draw all those fire energies and stuff, so he probably never runs out of those. Um... I like how he just so conveniently drew, you know, of all his legendary cards. I assume he has all of them, unless he just has Moltres for some reason. But he just happened. Of course, he maybe he made up his deck only around Moltres, which actually wouldn't be a bad idea. But whatever. Like I said, I'm not like overly concerned about it or anything. I can at least get this King's Khan out of the picture, and uh, when he brings back Moltres in. 
I'll have Taurus ready hopefully by then, so I should be in a pretty decent position. Another energy. Another energy. <laughs> uh, and then... Oh, unless he misses his attack, I guess that's possible, but... You know, I'm not banking on anything. Um, going to go ahead and body slam. Pretty much the only thing I can do at this point. And, of course I get the paralysis. Oh, well. He has two prize cards left. Oh, he goes into Jolteon. That's actually interesting. Which, I guess it's the sure kill now, but it's like... I'm still, like, a little surprised, I guess. Energy removal, let's use that on Taurus. Hmm. You. Um, he might actually, actually, he might get zero again with the, no. <laughs> that would have been pretty funny if he did, but unfortunately, that's a no. And, surprise. Taros. Um, he can at least take a hit. Stomp and Rampage. He go ahead and attach the energy to him. And then, I'm going to go ahead and use Stomp. Hopefully we get heads, yes. Good, good. Uh, his double kick should not take me out, I don't think. Um, that might be a problem. Oh, you know he gets Tails though. Ha! Ah. Um... Very nice, actually. So, oh good, and I get Jigglypuff. This is not a bad thing. Not a bad thing at all. That being said, I kind of wish I had a, uh, a uh, thing. What is it called? Crud. Double colorless, yes. Why can I never think of what I'm trying to think of? But whatever. I'm gonna go ahead and stomp him because Taurus. Actually, I didn't need the plus power. I should have just gone for Rampage because he's basically dead, anyways. Uh, oh well. Stupid idea on my part. Um. Well, I guess I shouldn't say that because he could miss here. Let's see what happens. Nope, he hits. Great! I'm ecstatic. Uh, I'm actually in a bad place at the moment, because I only have two cards on, or two basically one here on the bench. And neither one of them are going to do a whole lot. Oh, Professor Oak. Hello, Professor Oak. Um, I'm going to have to use an energy search here. Jigglypuff. Pound does 20. I have... Okay. Um... Ah! Oh, I don't know what to do here. I mean... Yeah, I basically have to. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to evolve Jigglypuff. Yes. And then I'm going to use Professor Oak. I don't know why I'm doing this. Um, just kind of out of desperation here. Pokedex not really going to help me at the moment. Look at Tongue. Yeah. Plus Power Super Potion Pokeball. Um, of course I forgot. Okay, so here's the Pokeball. Um, I don't know why I said there's the Pokeball. I just realized how irrelevant that was. Um, I guess let me do some calculations here real fast. Um, and pause. Okay, believe it or not, I think I have the slightest chance. Oh wait, no, I don't have the plus power. Oh, I do have the plus power, okay. So I do have the slightest chance at actually taking this Moltres down. 
what I need to do is wait, let me do the calculations again real fast. Four, yes, okay. So, I need to get another Pokemon with the Pokeball or just draw one next turn. Um, I need to have him miss at least one dive bomb because I can survive one, right? Yeah, so at least one dive bomb. Um, and then, yeah, <laughs> that's basically what I need to have. So I'm going to actually, actually, I don't necessarily need to bank on him missing a yeah, dive bomb because um, I can lullaby him here to sleep. Hopefully he'll stay asleep. Hopefully that happens. And yes. Anyways, I just didn't want to bore you guys while I sat around for like two. Actually, it didn't actually take that long. But you know, I just wanted to like think about all the different ways that I could get through with this or whatever. So yeah, I'm actually in a good position again. Um, he wakes up. Not a problem actually, because that's really all I needed to do is just not attack me that one turn. Um, and that's actually kind of a big deal too that I got Dratini. Uh, or I mean Dragonair. Um, I mean it doesn't matter that much, but at least he can survive a hit too. Uh, unless my plan just suddenly breaks down out of nowhere. Um, let me use this Pokedex real fast. Oh, okay, good. Um, that's actually, that works out really well. Um, energy, yep, there we go. So I'm like, I'm ecstatic right now. Uh, not, I'm not saying that sarcastically like I was a couple minutes ago either, so. This works out pretty well. Wait, no, wait. No, I, I did the calculations wrong. Oh, I'm so stupid. Or am I? Yeah, I am. Yeah, and I forgot I need it ah, after all that thinking. Mm. I do stupid things. A lot. Tails? No. <laughs> of course not. Why? <laughs> Why, dude? Just... Well, actually, you know what, though? It's not actually the most horrible thing that could happen to me. Because I forgot I have the Pokemon still. So if I get heads with this, I could actually still be saved. I don't know, of course. Um, never mind. So, I'm going to attach this to this guy. Yeah, yeah. And... Um... Yeah. Yes. Um, what I'm going to do is plus power and do the wave. Maybe he'll miss me next time. That'd be that would be awesome. Um, but I'm not going to bank on that. I'm actually I didn't completely screw myself over the badly I thought. Thanks to the fact that I have um, what's his name Dragonair still there. Granted, he does have that other Moltres, and now that he's drawing a lot of cards, that makes me kind of worried, but we'll see how this goes. And he's drawing even more cards. What if he runs out of cards? That'd be awesome. Because then I just win because of that. I think so, right? But I think that happened to me once. <gasps> oh, that's pretty cool. Um, double colorless. Fantastic. See, I don't know that I really want to use that double colorless on Wigglytuff, unless I need to, because it's like, eh. Um, of course he has energies on him. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's going to be pointless for me to use a Super Potion on Wigglytuff. Um, yeah. I'm just going to do the, oh wait, attach this to Dragonair, obviously, first, and then... Do the wave with Quickly Cuff. Um, that being said, if he misses another dive bomb, I would flip. Uh, wait, and this is. Whoa! I did not realize that that was my last prize. I thought he had like two or three left. I always forget like how many prizes I've left, and I like try to strategize like that, and I don't even really need to. So wow, that worked out surprisingly well. <laughs> um, I don't know how I came through that at all, but whatever. Not gonna complain. So, how could I lose? I don't really know either. 
Um, I'm sorry, but the legendary Pokemon cards have chosen PJ. <laughs> the legendary Pokemon cards. What? Wait. What? I don't know what to make of this. How does that? <laughs> what? They vanished from his deck. God, man, this game has such awesome music, though. Well, granted, this is just beeping, repeating itself at the moment, but I just feel like this is going to be a really good song. So that's pretty cool. And go through the Hall of Honor to receive the legend. You mean they can't just vanish into my deck like they vanished out of uh, Ronald's? Wait, can I go back and talk to these people? Of course the music changed. I screwed that up or whatever. Hurry and go through the Hall of Honor. What happens if I don't hurry? Well, it's like not accept me anymore. Or someone else could come along, I guess. Uh, please build a powerful deck around my card. Congratulations, Alex. I don't understand, though. Why, why were they still able to use them if Ronald had him, though? Um, and they always, like, talk about, like, singular cards when they were obviously more than one card, so it's like... Or they had more than one card in each, but whatever. Four legendary Pokemon cards float, glowing in the air. Yeah! I mean, even Ronald had more than one Moltres. So it's like, okay. Art oh, that's not the Articuno that he used, I don't think. Yeah, this is a different one. Huh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Um, and I don't think I've seen that Zapdos either. I thought I was facing... Okay. Um, yeah, this is different. Oh, wow! Oh, how do you choose on that rant? I don't understand how that's a thing. I mean, I guess it would work in this situation because, um, you know, this is on a game and it would decide for you, but, like, in real life, are you... Do you just, like, do you, like, roll dice? Or, like, how would you do that? Or does this card not exist in the real game? I don't really... I don't know. Okay, that's a pretty good card there. 100 HP, too. Okay, that might be my favorite so far, but Dragon Eye actually. Oh, this looks pretty cool, too. Um, and he's only at level 41. Huh. I didn't pay attention to the levels of the other. But, um, the Dragon Eye. For me, Okay. Um, okay. Yeah. So he's not that much better than Dragonair. As a matter of fact, I almost kind of prefer Dragonair because he has Hyper Beam, whereas he doesn't. But, well, you know, yeah, we'll see. True Pokemon card master is one who has the skill to use the abilities of the different cards and the courage to duel powerful opponents. And most of all, the ability to love the Pokemon trading card game. No matter what, win or lose, a new journey has just begun. Cool. Credits! So, I really like this game. It's like, I don't know. I. You would think it's kind of a weird concept, considering the fact that you're playing a game about a trading card game, which generally you would probably, one would probably assume to be only entertaining when played against other human people, but this was pretty fun. Um, yeah. And of course, I guess the same concept goes with, like, a lot of the Pokemon spin-offs. Like, Pokemon Pinball, like, it's just Pinball, but I really enjoyed, uh, at least I only played the, uh, the original, like, Red and Blue one. I didn't play, the, I haven't played the, uh, the Gen 3 version. Um, and then Pokemon Snap, you know, like, going around taking pictures of Pokemon is surprisingly a really entertaining game. Um, and then this, like I said, so... This was a pretty good game. You, you know, yeah, it ripped a ton off of <laughs> red and blue and yellow, but I wasn't, like... I mean, it didn't, like, bother me that much, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So, you know. I was like, okay. It's still different enough to be you know, a different, fun experience, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Um, you know, with the different cards and stuff, and yeah. So, um, speaking of cards, I guess I should probably mention, well, Snorlax. Snorlax is probably one of my favorite cards. Um, what were some of my other favorite cards that I used? 
Uh, oh, well, I'm a champ, and like that, that fighting deck was just so awesome, I feel like. Um, at least I, I felt like it was. I, again, it probably wasn't really, but, um, I don't know. Um, also, I think that might have been, I think this place right here might be, like, one of the places I didn't go to. Um, which I think it's optional. I think it's kind of, from what I understand, from, like, the very, very little I know about it, I feel like it's, like, the Battle Frontier of the Pokemon trading card game, but I don't really know for sure, so... I'll have to, or not really Battle Frontier, but the Battle Tower, I guess I should say, of uh, the trading card game. So I'll have to check that out as well, I guess. Oh, this is the finale. So let me actually mention my big question or whatever. Um, I plan on potentially doing some post-game content after this, but <laughs> original story, yeah. Um, but. If you guys want me to do post-game content, if you guys don't want me to and you just want me to move on to the, the, the sequel, um, just let me know down in the comments or whatever. Um, otherwise, like I said, I kind of really want to go and get the Imakuni card or whatever you pronounce his name. I feel like I've been butchering his name this whole time probably and I don't realize it. But, so I have to track him down and, uh, you know, duel him a couple more times, which shouldn't be that difficult because... I've actually, well, I'd like to say I've gotten a little smarter, but I did make some stupid mistakes, even in just the past match, and so, but, you know, I seem to have a way of being able to get out of awkward situations and win, so, you never know, um, and obviously that, the challenge hall or whatever it was, um, that'd be something interesting to check out too, but, like I said, if you guys want me to just move on to the, the sequel, then... I'll just move on to the sequel. Um, I'll probably mess around with it some of my spare time as well, just because I'm kind of interested in it. But if you guys want me to actually record it, then, you know, me messing around these other different areas, then, like I said, just let me know. But other than that, it looks like this is going to be the end of the video. Yes. So, um, if you guys like this video, I'd really appreciate you leaving a like and potentially subscribing to this channel if you haven't done so and you want to get notified of future content and stuff. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed, and thanks again for watching.